I think one of the more worrisome conditions is that we're finding it hard to be candid with China about things that we find dangerous or provocative or unstate or destabilizing. Uh, we have a vital economic relationship with China. We clearly support uh, China's reintegration into the international system as a productive partner. We champion their accession to the, to the World Trade Organization when that was an issue in the late 90s, early 2000s. It's, it's good that we have all these economic relationships with China. It's good that our allies and friends have the same economic relationships with China and benefit from them. But we find it hard, I think, to have two conversations at the same time. Uh, we let our desire to have the good economic relationship override at times our need to be candid with China. And when we're often candid, when we are candid, oftentimes it's behind closed doors. Uh, chi one of China's, uh, one of the, one of the few influences on the conduct of Chinese leadership is the attitude of the people. We see it in China's worry about netizens. We see it in China's worry about various things getting into the press that they don't like. We see it in their repeated uh, uh, harassment, arrest, and jailing of, of dissidents who happen to, agree, happen to disagree with the prevailing opinion with China. We need, I think, to, especially in this complex relationship, I think we have an ever greater need to be candid with China than would otherwise be the case. We need to be candid because it's well known that, uh, that the world's had difficulty integrating or reintegrating rising powers back into the international system. I think the odds are something like seven times out of the past 11. It has not worked well. Uh, China is the fastest rising power in, in world history, so we need to be candid on where we stand. We need to be candid on, on what we see as dangerous and provocative behavior. We need to be candid about what reaction we're going to have if it doesn't uh, cease and desist. And we need to do this for two reasons. One, to make China absolutely certain on where we see the hard points in our relationship and also to reassure our allies and friends on what we stand for and that uh, uh, which of course will affect uh, will affect their behavior. I think our conditioning from the long period of the Cold War uh, makes it difficult to think of a security concern at the same time being a vital economic concern. Perhaps the last time that occurred was before the War of 1812. Uh, so we have obviously no living memory of that, but I think we need to work our way into a more candid uh, and clear relationship like that.